everyone and a warm welcome to this episode that is a work in progress meaning how I managed to put together Grinch versus Santa rap battle so stay tuned and I hope you will enjoy it. Let's meet our characters first. I have created several versions of the Grinch and this one was the one that I was most satisfied because I managed to create hands for him and I also have a Grinch from the back because I find it interesting to change perspective from time to time. Now let's talk about Santa. Basically for each character I have used a template because I'm not that good at drawing which I personalized somehow. In case of Santa I added some muscles and some nice tattoo. Okay, next. Next, let's have Max. I always make copies because I'm afraid not to lose the characters. And here is Max. So, as I was saying, for each character I use a template and I placed over the character parts of a PNG file as I will show you right now. So, for Dear Max, I use this nice puppy, Dog01. Hello there. And I just dressed him to look like Max. Of course, we have the nice reindeer, which you see dancing. And yeah, dancing with Santa. And of course, I will show you the character I use for Santa. As you can see, for Santa, I've used this dude i haven't customized it much except for the hands and for the grinch i used of course a dummy with hands all right as you can see i did my project by creating a lot of small projects here it gave me a hard time all the shadow that grinch was in Basically, I used some layering and this is how I have created the shadow by using a transparent layer. And about the light that comes here on the Grinch, it's, as you can see, we have a spotlight that comes up. About this scene, what I can tell you is that I actually have used three dolls and for each one of them, I have changed the visibility. And in this part, there is an error that annoys me a lot. And that is the hand is coming through. And this is something I could not correct. Not even using layer editor. So, by any mean, I could not send the right hand where it belongs yeah the left hand as i called it and here we have green screen and for more dynamics i copied and paste santa so we have a nice santa chorus basically all the rest of the scenes were putting together a lot of props from Reallusion Marketplace and Content Store and getting together a lot of Easter eggs like the teddy bear mascot our YouTube from our YouTube channel and some famous characters that I have animated in previous rap battles like Dora vs Niloya his Dora and Miloya. This one was actually a lot of fun. The character, the actor is talking and all the presents are literally vanishing in the air. I used motion withdraw left upper corner. 
for this. Yeah, and of course, hat appearing. And here is why I went to all the trouble of creating an actor with hands. And it actually worked. I used a lot of face expressions using Motion Live 2D for reacting, for talking, for everything basically. And this is the m most accurate result I could get. I could give you a bonus clip with me creating the expressions for these characters, but I just won't do that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, I can tell you that. Basically, all the clip was put together with basic animation and basic knowledge. I am not advanced user but cartoon animator was very easy to master at at basic level i mean this one was a lot of turning and flipping and rotating but it finally got to this For this one I created an illusion because I didn't have the time to create Santa from the back. I placed Santa right here. <laughs> it's actually facing the armchair. And the layers look like this. We have some props and we have a chimney and the armchair, Santa and the background and of course the TV. <laughs> That is made of the background, which is Home Alone, and the TV frame. So, this is how amazing Cartoon Animator is. Finally, what I can say is that sometimes I've had issues with the blinking, meaning that sometimes blinking was done with one eye and then the other one. And other issues that I had were keyframing face features. So if I wanted a particular feature to do one thing, I was not able to fine tune that. But I blame that on the fact that I am not an experienced user. Of course, I have to thank first and give credit to the great marketplace and content store that you can find on Reillusion. So I used a lot of stuff from here to create the backgrounds and character and scenes. And also I have to thank this wonder which is live to the motion because it gave me the opportunity of having so much fun expressions and these cute faces. Thank you all for watching, I hope you liked it and see you in the next one!